and today we're going to learn about and from the NHS app in the United Kingdom. NHS, if you're outside the UK, stands for National Health Service. It's a brand new thing and I'll tell this story. So on this information screen we can quickly progress and see that this is a digital app, of course, available in the App Store from Android or iOS. The lady in the right picture is, of course, using it on her smartphone. We need to know at this stage that the national rollout is about 1st of July 2019. So maybe, what, six months ago, UK press is coming through. And I'll tell you exactly why I'm talking about it. Because if we look at the Android and iOS screens and then go on and look at the reviews, this is what caught my attention and why, quite honestly, I'm making this video. You can see that I've given it a positive review of five stars. Now, the people out of 109, and this is a very, uh, sorry, 809, let's get my numbers right, five stars, 29%. The thing that caught my eye, of course, is 48% of those people who try to download and register and use this app, I would say, um, well, looking at my eyes, 48% of them have given it one start. That's a huge 30%, more or less 29 have said, yep, great, I've got on with it, I'm including that personally, but 48%. Now, what can we learn about this? We can also go over to the iOS App Store, iTunes, and see that there is a similar trend there. So when we look on iPhone, iPad, we've got 36% giving it five stars. Isn't it lovely? Wow, my life is enriched, let's say. But 39% have given it this one star again. That's the investigation here to see what we can actually learn. So the app itself, if you're outside of the UK or inside the UK, is a thing where if you're registered with a doctor, a general practitioner, then you have to keep phoning up to get appointments and repeat prescriptions and it can be quite a chore. So what they've done here with NHS Digital is started a app where you can see that you can log in, we can see about appointments, we can see other appointment details and personal information here. Remember this is a standard screen that I've got along the bottom, symptoms, appointments, prescriptions, your personal record. These are sample screens, remember. One of my thoughts about the part of the registration and verification process, people may get really caught out, find it very, very hard. These are my guesses at this stage. This is speculation that to actually get your smartphone and take a photo of your driver's license, photo ID or a passport, then get a screen saying, look, please make a video saying 6605 and you open your camera like this demonstration. This is not me. This is a demo guy doing it. Maybe that might lead to some people being um, disheartened and stopping Hence the 48%. I do not know, but I want to follow this story over the next six months to a year. Once again, I keep highlighting this 48%. If from user research we could eradicate that and get that right down to, say, 5%, you would get a 77% success rate. Which, let's be honest, with all the money and the time spent, everybody making an app will want that for themselves and, of course, for their users, for number one. So let's move on a little bit about the awareness and advertising that the NHS Digital are doing themselves. You can see on screen that there is an array of posters and stickers and various things. This this one on the bottom right, by the way, is actually a screensaver, and you can download those. I'll show you the screens. For me, gathering resources, I found the NHS Digital YouTube um, channel, three videos. You can see that I'm recording, uh, I don't know, what is it, 19th of December today. This one about, um, are you ready for the app? 9th of May. We've got a the one which I featured the young lady here on the 7th of May and there's a much older one which is talking about the process here which um, is all the way down to October last year. Then I've got a playlist and right down on the bottom here we've got some little animations that are 20 seconds long to give you an idea of those. We can see them just running through on screen for up. Where, to finish this off for a step-back approach, we can see that the NHS Digital have put out a NHS, 
NHS app page. There's some guidance for GP practices on the NHS app to tell their customers. And then finally, to tell your patients about the app, which I've just said, there's tons of PDFs and things. So if you are in healthcare and you're looking at that, look at the links in the box below and get downloading. And of course, you can raise staff awareness. These are things that are just background to the essential information as well as an NH app Wikipedia page where we started to talk about the UK government, what the health secretary's done and various bits and bobs that I will link to. But overall, for me personally, what caught my eyes from finding this app, quite honestly, by accident, when I was looking for some kind of repeat medication um, assistance with a, I don't know, a little spreadsheet or a table, that on the 18th of May here, 48%. So if I track back maybe in three or four months' time, I'd really be interested to see if this 48 hopefully has gone down with a bit of patient awareness um, training. I, I don't know really, but I've done lots of user research and that's why I'm making this video. 48% is the big spike there at one star. We need to get it up to five stars. So have you got the NHS app? This message goes out to anybody pretty much in the UK and anyone looking anywhere around the world of how medical apps are made and processed.